You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace: Shuichi's Path. So yes, I'm running the latest build of 0.57. This adds a new day to Shuichi's uh, to Shuichi's route. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how far in I am. Uh, apparently there's a hub map kind of thing that opens up a little bit later that lets you go on uh, little activities with the boys. So anyway, let's get back into it, guys. Please sit back and enjoy. Let me continue for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm saying you're up, and let's go. All right, <clears throat> okay. But usually when you give someone a massage, you want to touch the skin instead of the clothes. My dad used to strip down his boxers when I gave him massages. Uh, oh. Well, what? Well, uh, n n never mind. Never mind. F f f oh, God, I'm going to... Uh, my, my tongue. Ah! Forget I said that. It, th this is fine. N no, you're right. Um, I don't really feel comfortable taking off my shorts, though. I is just my shirt fine? I yes. I quickly removed my shirt, exposing my sweaty torso to June, my fur completely matted and pressed down by the sweat. He looks away for a second before glancing tentatively at me again, his face a little red. Uh, okay. Would you rather I do your front or your back first? W what? Uh, what? Uh, I mean, for the massage. Would you rather I massage your front or your back first? Uh, oh, f f front? Uh, okay. June gets really close to me. So much so that I can feel the heat radiating from him. Despite his earlier confidence, he doesn't look me in the eye. He slowly reaches out with his hand, and I instinctively hold my breath as it comes closer to my arm. When he finally touches my bicep, I involuntarily flinch, making him gasp in surprise. S sorry o okay He brings his other hand to touch me and starts slowly massaging my arm. His ministration is soothing, and I can almost feel myself melt into his touch. Damn it, he wasn't lying. He's pretty good at this. I can already feel the muscles in my arm relaxing. Is this okay? I'm not going too hard, am I? No, it's fine. Damn it. Even, my, even though my body's relaxing, my mind just can't relax. This is too awkward. He's still not even looking at me, and his face is bright red. June makes sure to massage all of my arm. From the base of my shoulders all the way down to my wrist, he eases the tension and gets rid of some of the dull pain that, was, uh, that I was feeling all over my body. By the time he's done with my left arm, it feels completely different from the right, and he immediately sets to work on that. You weren't kidding, you're pretty good at this. Th thanks. After quite a few minutes that feel like an eternity, or a pleasurable eternity, but an eternity nonetheless, June finishes massaging both of my arms and comes to a pause, staring at my chest. Um, if you're uh, uncomfortable with it, I, you don't have to... No, no, I'm used to it. It's just weird when it's not my dad. Uh, touching a friend like this is a... Uh... Still, he eventually reaches out and places his hands on my pecs. Setting to, setting to work on them almost immediately, kneading and stroking so expertly that my entire body relaxes. D damn. It takes every fiber of my willpower to keep myself from moaning. It's just that good! I look at the clock on the wall and realize that it's already been 20 minutes since we started. Damn, there's less than an hour of practice left, even if I have a perfectly valid explanation for this. I still don't want to end up being caught in this situation. Alright, I'm done with your chest. Now for your, uh, uh lower body. My attention shifts back to my own senses when he talks to me, and that's when I notice something wrong. This is June starts to look down. Whoa! It's okay! I'm fine! Totally fine! I jump up faster than I ever judged possible, immediately turning away from him. It's embarrassing to say that I reacted too much to his touch, but there's no way I can let him see me like this. But, but I'm not done yet! I still have to do your legs and your back! There is no need for it! I already feel invigorated! See? 100%! I flex some muscles for a display, desperately trying to convince him to drop it. But we haven't gone all the way yet. I want to help you. Oh, yes, you can certainly help me if you... What the hell am I thinking? <laughs> Stop it, brain. Bad, bad, bad. Get your mind out of the gutter. I shouldn't even be having these sorts of thoughts. June is a guy and my friend. You already have. I, I told you. I I'm as good as new. I, I can even stand now, see? It's at moments like these that I'm happy for the adrenaline rush. No way, no way could I be standing without it. Hmm. Uh, all right. I guess you're right. There's no reason to keep going if it's already done its job. Yes, exactly. No reason. <laughs> well, if you're really okay, I'm going to watch Chevkun trying out practice. I'm totally fine. I I'll be there in a second. June nods friendly, smiling brightly. I can see his fangs poking from his smile, and that's absolutely adorable. I wonder how he'd look if... No! Bat! 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 As soon as he leaves, I immediately drop all my weight back on the, be on the bench, making it creak. You're such a piece of work, you know? Of all times for you to act up. 
I guess it's been a while since I've gotten someone's attention down there. Great, and now I'm talking to myself again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Poor Yuichi. April 18th, Tuesday. Such a beautiful day. The sun is bright, the sky is blue, the weather is mild, the breeze outside ruffles the leaves of the trees, covering the parks and streets in green and pink, carrying the scent of greenery in the air. It is without a doubt a wonderful day. Nothing could possibly ruin it. No one could possibly be sad or upset or preoccupied on a day like this. Uh, well, I except for... Oh, no. <laughs> June! June, seriously, sit down! I try repeating it for the umpteenth time, hoping that this time he'll actually register what I'm saying. Or that he won't disregard me, at least. Mm, excuse me. I, I can't sit down. I can't keep myself set down. I just can't! His voice is two keys higher than usual, and he's stuttering so much that I can barely make out what he's saying. His entire body is shivering. Is this adrenaline coursing through him, or is he just quaking in fear? Honestly, I have no idea. Come on, why are you so nervous? Didn't you say you perf you've performed live before? Didn't you used to take part in competitions? Y yeah but it's been so long since the last time. How long, exactly? About seven years. Are you asking me or telling me? I I'm not sure. Great, he's not making sense. Come on, June, you have experience with this. You should have learned it to believe in yourself by now. Uh, having experience doesn't mean I can't screw up. Uh, a single mistake could stop me from getting to the next stage. Look, just just sit down for a minute and try to compose yourself, okay? I put my hands on both, both of his shoulders and force him down on one of the benches they have in the lobby. Honestly, though, this place is massive. It's so full of people, I, even, if I, even I feel a bit on edge. I can definitely understand why June would be bothered. Just breathe, okay? Nice, long, deep breaths. I try showing him some breathing exercises, but he fails pathetically at all of them. His breathing is so rapid and ragged that I'm afraid he just might give himself a heart attack. Actually, could he be having a panic attack? Rapid, shallow breathing, stuttering, pacing around nervously. It does sound like the descriptions I've heard, but then again, I'm no doctor, so I can't really tell. I kneel down to stay eye level with him, putting one hand on his shoulder and the other on his chest. I immediately start to feel awkward as memories of what happened yesterday flash in my mind. Still, I try to ignore them as best I can. Right now, I need to help June. All right, first things first. What was it that I learned from about panic attacks? I remember Shuichi telling me about times. June, look at me. Okay, look me in the eyes. Can you do that for me? June sets his eyes on my face. His eyes are bloodshot and scared, but he does as I say, slowly nodding for me. Good. Now, focus on my hand on your chest. Can you feel my hand on your chest? Can you feel it moving when you breathe? June looks down at my hand, making me move it so his chin and to his chin and raise his head so only he looks at my face. No, you don't need to look at it, just feel my hand on your chest. Uh, okay. Now, I want you to breathe for me, okay? Just focus on moving my hands around when you do it. Four seconds in, two seconds out. Four seconds in, two seconds out. Can you do that for me? I I'll try. June starts to take deep breaths. He struggles a bit at first, but his breathing starts to become more and more regular. It takes a couple of minutes, but I can feel his body relaxing with my hands. I make sure to smile at him the whole time, reminding him that I'm here to help. I feel a bit awkward about doing this in such a public place, but my number one priority should be June. There we go. You're doing a lot better already. Do you feel any better? A little. I don't feel like I'm going to suffocate anymore. That's good. See? There's nothing for you to be afraid of. This is just a day like any other. You're fine. He swallows hard and nods. It makes me feel a bit better to be able to help him in some way. At least I don't have to stand around and feel helpless. Now, how about we talk about something more pleasant, huh? Is there anything you'd like to talk about? Not really. Come on, there must be something. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. Well, there's this book series I really like. Uh, the new book the new book came out just last week, but I don't have the money to buy it yet. Oh, that's cool. Uh, what's this series about? I was just looking to distract him with some pleasant conversation, but this might actually be interesting. It's called the Murderous Queen Trilogy. It's a story set in a fantasy world about a farmer queen who escapes death after her husband is overthrown and killed in a rebellion and then goes around looking for vengeance. That doesn't sound at all like something I expect you to read. Why? You think I can't enjoy a mature, complex story? What? what? No! No! Yes. Well, it's just that you tend to go for more, um, happier stories. I've heard you talking about some games before, and they were all very, very teen-friendly. This one sounds like something that wouldn't recommend for a 17-year-old. Well, the rating is 17+, plus, and I'm 19. I don't see the issue here. Uh, true enough. If a bit out of character, at least in my opinion. And the book that was just released, the, was that the second one? June shakes his head in negative. It's the last one. 
I read the first two, and they were really good. Although, I'll admit, I was just 14 when the first one came out, so I wasn't actually supposed to read it. My dad was just feeling very tired when he took me out to buy a birthday present, and I and didn't look at the book I picked. Sounds like a lousy parenting at its finest. <laughs> Mom was really mad when she found the book. Poor dad got the brunt of it. As he should, letting a 14-year-old kid read something like that, but... And again, I played games that were like that when I was a kid, so I guess I'm one to talk. Well, it sounds like you said you like it a lot. Uh, what was the name of, the of his third book, just for curiosity's sake? I might just end up buying it for him later. Uh, what was it called again? Ah, huh, The Red Keep! Huh, that's an interesting name. I might end up picking up a copy of these for myself. Well, what else? You tell me more about it. Um, I'd rather not. You might want to read them in the future, and I don't want to spoil you. Psh, spoilers are my bread and butter! I don't care about spoilers. Come on, tell me more. Anything that keeps you talking and stops you from freaking out. Well, okay, but first, can you take your hand from my chest? There's some people looking, and it's a bit embarrassing. Ah! I only notice when it, when he pointed when he points it out. I but I pull away immediately and get up on my feet. I try looking away slyly, slyly around to see that there are a couple heads turned in our direction. Damn, my cheeks feel hot right now. I guess June wasn't the only one being distracted by our conversation. I'll just <clears throat> I'll just sit right here. I take a seat next to June on the bench. All the awkwardness that I was feeling because of what happened yesterday has now come back full force. Damn, it feels weird all of a sudden. No, no, powered through it. I've gotten this far. I can't allow him to start moping again. Well, anyway, uh, you were going to tell me more about those books? June smiles and, imme and I immediately s and, imme and, blah, and it immediately sets my heart at ease. It's so good to see a smile back on his face. Well, the story starts with Ella. That's the protagonist's name, by the way. Ella Richal in a tavern. A man sits next to her and tells her she looks pretty and starts flirting with her and she asks him to buy her a drink. When he's not looking, she slips a bit of viper venom in his ale and excuses herself to go to the bathroom after she sees him drink it. Then she escapes the tavern while he dies. Then we get taken to a flashback about how she was forced to go on exile after her husband was dethroned and murdered and their children were killed. She talks about making a deal with a witch to grant her a new face that she wants to use to kill the ones who masterminded the rebellion. Then she... Yeah, Game of Thrones. That's exactly what this is. Oh lord. As the minutes start to pass, I, I see that June's body has already stopped twitching entirely. I finally begin to rest a bit easy, rest a bit easy, knowing that I calm, that he's calmed down immensely. He continues to talk to me about his book, enthusiastically describing the story to me while oh god, is a sneeze? <coughs> oh, must be. Ow, that hurt. The story to me while Keith was still keeping himself very vague at certain points. I guess he really doesn't want to spoil me after all. Oh, but you're the one spoiling him with attention. He starts to perk up considerably. His gestures become more full of energy, and his smile becomes wider. After what I assume have been 15 minutes, he's almost back to his usual self, which makes me sigh in relief. Huh? Are, are you alright, Yuichi-san? I'm, I'm not boring you, am I? No, no, nothing like that. I'm just relieved. R relieved? A about what? He cocks his head to the side, like a curious little puppy. It's adorable to see him behaving like this again. I decide that there's no harm in telling him. Well, look at how much you've calmed down. You're acting like yourself again. June blinks a couple times, his eyes becoming wider. Hey, you're right. I do feel better. See? Uh, see? I'm just glad I managed to calm you down. Ah! I'm suddenly wrapped in a mass of orange fur when June pounces on me out of nowhere, enveloping me in a warm, tight hug. Thank you so much. I didn't even realize it. But you were worrying me about. But you were worrying about me all this time. Well, the feeling is certainly nice. The first thing I worry about is the people around us seeing. Well, this. I give him a few taps on his arm. Okay, okay, easy there, Tiger. We're still in public, remember? Ah, right. His tail immediately strands, stands upright as he pulls back from me, scratching his reddened cheeks in embarrassment. Sorry, I just kind of lost control. It's all right, I don't mind. It's a nice feeling. Just not when we're in public, okay? Okay. Oh, man, he's just too precious. Please, June, never change. June Kabayashi? A voice calls June's name. We both turn our heads to search for it at the same time. Oh, whoa! Hello, handsome. We both see a lion dressed in a red shirt and a pair of cargo pants. The lion sh stares at June with wide eyes, his mouth open in an O shape. Oh my god, I didn't believe it when I saw your name in the list of participants, but it really is you! Uh, um, I'm sorry, but uh, who are you? Oh, right. It's been seven years. No wonder you wouldn't recognize me. I, I grew a lot taller, and I didn't even have a mane, a mane back then. What? Wait. Akutagawa-kun? The lion smiles, putting a hand on his waist, making the bracelets he has on his wrist clink. You haven't changed much, all things considered. Well, you grew a bit, in both directions. Still, I heard you gave up piano after that incident seven years ago. What brought you back? Hmm. 
Noticing the change in June's demeanor, the lion awkwardly scratches the back of his neck. Sorry, I let curiosity get the better of me. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. Still, it's good to see you again. Maybe I'll finally have my revenge. Uh, I'm sorry to intrude in your conversation, but what's going on? What's this talk about vengeance? A sudden interjection makes June jump up from his seat. He apparently completely forgot that I was here. Oh, that's right! Uh, Yuichi-san, this is Shinji At Akutagawa. He used to be a friend of mine back when I still participate in competitions. Oh, please, let's just call it what it is. No need to play friends with me. You and I were bitter rivals. Huh? W we were? He falters, gasping and gaping in shock. H hey, are you kidding me? Of course we were rivals. I always had to share the podium with you. You have no idea how bitter about it I was. Wait, we shared the podium? I don't remember that. June scratches at his cheek as the lion looks at him, completely flabbergasted. Are you seriously telling me you forgot about me? Well, I didn't forget. I remember talking to you before and after the competitions, but I don't remember how you played or where you placed. I wasn't really paying attention. What? Well, you self-absorbed prick. I spent all this time thinking about you and you didn't even remember me. Big comical tears start forming around his eyes as he begins to pout. Ah, so sorry, I didn't mean it like the... Forget it. You and I will square off in the... You and I will square off on the stage and I will destroy you. Just make sure that weak set list of yours doesn't spell your doom. I'll make sure the name Shinji Akutagawa is one you'll never forget. He runs off without a second glance, leaving us to eat dust. Oh, seems like someone else has a rival. Well, that was a bit... weird? June nods in affirmative, still looking confused. Uh, by the way, Yuichi-san, when are the others getting here? It's already... 9.35? Well, Keiken and Saya said they'd arrive at about 9.40, so they they should be getting here soon. Uh, Shuichi will... Oh god, I hope my nose isn't bleeding. No, okay, nose isn't bleeding, alright. Well, Shuichi will probably take at least an hour since he's dealing with some some issues at school. Issues? Yeah, I uh, kind of forgot to get excused to come here today. Shuichi's at school right now trying to set things straight so I won't get punished for skipping. Wait, don't you need parental permission for that? How's he gonna get you excused? Well, he'll just work his magic. He's a student council president. I'm sure he'll manage. I I see. Wait. Why is he the one getting you excused? Gah. Well, it was his choice to go in my place. Why would he do that? Well, he was a bit worried that I'd, uh... June stares at me with inquisitive eyes. Yes? He was a bit worried that I say something I shouldn't and end up getting in trouble. <laughs> so... He basically said you were too incompetent to do it. That is not what he said! But it's what he meant. Ah! When did you get so snarky? I learned from watching you guys talking to each other. Isn't this what you do? Oh boy, I suddenly feel like a bad influence. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm just pulling your leg. It was funny seeing that look on your face. Oh god, we've created a monster. Anyway, can you try calling Shuichi's son and ask him if he's going to take long? I kind of need him to be here soon. Why? Your performance isn't due until 12.30. Well, yeah, but all the performers need to go backstage to prepare half an hour before the first performance starts. And then we just stay there to concentrate on our performance. Wait, isn't the first performance in an hour? Yeah. W what? Why didn't you say this sooner? What? You didn't ask! So if I don't ask you something, you just don't tell me? Crap, I have to call Shuichi and tell him to hurry. So sorry. Later. <laughs> Alk away from June, going to the entrance of the concert hall where the phone signal is a bit better. Two bars, that should be plenty. Now to see if I can actually call him. Oh dear. Hey, Yuichi? Get here now! Jeez, are you trying to make me deaf or something? What's going on? Is everything okay? Are you still in school? I just left. I'm heading to the train station now. Why? Run to it. You must get the first train. You must get to the first train that comes by. What? The next train is in five minutes. So there's no way I can catch it. What's this even about? June has to go backstage in half an hour. If you don't hurry here, you won't be able to see him until after his performance. Shoot it. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I have to pull the phone away from my face as I'm at a risk of going deaf. Jesus, this isn't my fault. Why am I the one getting yelled at? Didn't you just complain about about me doing that? I don't care. Why wasn't I informed sooner? Because I didn't know myself. June only told me about it now. I hear groaning on the other side, followed by the sound of running steps. Forget it. I'm going to try to make the station in time for the next train. Don't let him go anywhere until I get there. I'll try, but I don't know if I can... 
Don't let him go anywhere until I get there! Just like that, he shuts the call off and I'm left with ringing in my ear. Well, I guess that takes care of that. Now to go back to j Boo! Ah! I nearly fall on my ass when Kasich suddenly jumps in front of me, scaring the crap out of me. Ha! Gotcha. Well, what the hell? Sorry, I saw on your phone and I saw you on your phone and I couldn't resist. When did you even get here? Oh, about 30 seconds ago. I came in with Saya, but she left to look for Kobayashi. And like I said, I couldn't resist, so I stayed behind. Kasich chuckles, puffing up his chest with satisfaction. I sigh. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. Oh lord. Funny goings-ons today. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Oh man. Oof. And I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.